Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at a bit of a practical for the CAD hotspots and this will be for Fabricam software but before that let's have a quick intro first So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, in today's practical, I want you guys to create this shape. Now, uh, what I've got here, I've got a rectangle and I have four little cutouts on each corner. And this is basically where you'll be putting your bolts or your screws or whatever it is. But uh, as you can, guys can see, they are nicely equally positioned and spaced throughout your shape. So now, yeah i'm gonna leave it for you guys to try to figure out but what i do want you to do is i want you to use at least the matrix positioning option now this is obviously a continuation on the hotspots so uh yeah that might come in handy yeah otherwise pause here uh, give it a try and then afterwards you can come see and i'll show you the process i took Okay, I'm hoping you guys uh, gave it a try. So I'm going to quickly run through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this first and add my base shape because that's going to be my um, base calculation. So I'm going to go, let's make this one 100 by 100. I'm going to leave it origin center. Seeing that I'm going to be using a hotspot, so it doesn't really matter that much. Say okay, single position, and just add it in. Now next thing I want to do is do the cutouts. But I'm going to use, be using a hotspot. You can do it without, but it requires an extra step of calculation. So I'm going to make this 10 so it's easy to calculate versus the 100. Then I'm going to go, so I've just added a circle of 10. Go to my matrix positioning. And now what I'm going to do is select this hotspot on the bottom left. I'm going to click that and then bring up our options. Now that I know this uh, shape is 100 and my holes are 10, and keeping in mind that it does it to the center of the hole, so I'm going to make it a 10 and 10 from the left and 10 from the bottom or spacing. I'm going to make the spacing between them 80. And then what I, so this is between one circle to another circle will be 80. And then I'm going to have two on my horizontal and two on my vertical. Say OK. And there you go. I've got my nice little circles there, cutouts, pretty straightforward and uh, nice and simple to do. Like I say, you can do it without uh, using the hotspot, but then you're going to have to calculate your X and Y, uh, how far you must overlap and with the spacing. So that makes it just the extra step, which uh, takes the process down a little bit. But yeah, otherwise, in the meanwhile, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, yeah, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.